So in my next shorts video I plan to talk about um, Io and Argus Panoptes. So I thought to give you an idea of just just the kind of, of quality shade and, and to some extent you'd have to consider the translation as well in this book obviously. Um, Ovid, Ovid wasn't messing, messing about with these things, he wasn't shying away, he wasn't trying to hide stuff in terms of the nymph wanted it and whatever. So I'll just read you a passage from uh, book one of the Metamorphosis in um, the section of Ayu and uh, just above 590. So, What happened? As Ayu was one day coming away from her father's river, Jupiter saw her and cried, You beautiful maiden, worthy of Jove, how happy the husband who makes you his own. You should rest in the depths of these shady woods. And he pointed them out. While the sun is so high in the sky at its zenith and burning so fiercely, if you're afraid to enter the wild beast lairs on your own, you'll be safe with a god to guide you into the forest's secret recesses. No ordinary god, but I, who wield in my mighty hand the scepter of heaven and hurl the volatile lightning. She started to flee. Don't run from me now! Already she'd left the pastures of Lerna and the woody Lycrean country behind her when Jupiter, throwing a mantle of darkness over the wide earth, halted the flight of the runaway nymph and stealthily raped her. Now, Ovid's not messing about here. He's making it really clear just what's happening to, to Io. I mean, the clues and the wording there. Um, I do kind of... Um, find some innuendo in some of it though. I mean <laughs> wield in my mighty hand the scepter of heaven and hurl the volatile lightning. I mean just <laughs> Yeah not messing about.